the word of God in Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 20 says, At that time, I will get you together. It says, For I will make you a name and a praise among all the peoples of the earth. When I let your faith be changed before your eyes, says the Lord, dear child of God. He said, I will stop your troubles and you will see what I would make happen to you. The Lord is saying to you, I will bring you back to your home. I will bring you back together. I will bring you back to the place of your honor, dear child of God. You may have experienced shame. You may have experienced reproach. You may have experienced some setback, dear child of God. But he's saying to you, it would all come to an end. In verse 19 of Zephaniah 3, the word of God says, See, at that time, I will put an end to all you have been troubled with. He says, all that have troubled you, I'll put an end to them. He says, all those who have troubled you, I would also put an end to them. Dear child of God, the Lord is saying to you, it will bring you your salvation. The Lord is saying to you, those uncertainties, those difficulties, those challenges, those things that made you to worry, those things that made you to cry, those things that made you to sorrow, those things that made you to lose faith, those things that brought you down. The Lord is saying, I will deal with them. I will deal with them. They have long stayed their welcome and then they will be gone away from your life. They have overstayed in your life, dear child of God. He says, it will come to a point in time in your life that you look for those pains, you will look for those challenges and you will find them no more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is mandatory that it comes to an end. He says it is only supposed to last for a while. Dear child of God, the pains is not supposed to be there for eternity. And God wants you to know today that it will come to that point in time in your life that you will discover the troubles, the pains, the challenges, the woes, the worries have been gone because he had brought you the transformation, because he had brought you the breakthrough, because he had brought you the blessings that you deserve. He said it very clear. He said, I will take away your troubles. Zephaniah 3 verse 18, he says, I will take away your troubles, lifting up your shame from off you. Dear child of God, the Lord is saying to you today, that time has come, that they will take away your troubles, your afflictions, your pains, your sorrow, the hardship. You have struggled night and day. They have made you to suffer. They have made you to sorrow, dear child of God. Sometimes you are asking yourself, what did I do to them? What did I do to them that they hate me this much? Sometimes those household enemies have been contending against your life. Not because you did anything wrong, but because your progress had become intimidating to them. So they vowed to bring you down. You see, when the brothers of Joseph became those household enemies, they became those who wanted to bring him down. And it happened because they became intimidated, their child of God. They were intimidated because it was the last and then they could not imagine it. That how can you be the ruler over us? Dear child of God, because the blessings were coming your way, then you began to understand that trouble followed you. You began to see pains. You began to see hardship. You began to see some difficulties. And sometimes... The situation makes it look as if it is bad for you to receive some level of blessings. Because if the blessings hadn't come, maybe you wouldn't have been noticed. Maybe they couldn't and wouldn't have been fighting you. But right now, you have found yourself in that state. But God is saying to you, I will take away your troubles. And those things they did to bring you shame, I will lift every single one of them off you. And I would make sure I will put an end to everyone that have troubled you. He said, look, at that time, I will punish all those people who hurt you. This is the word of God. Zephaniah 3, 19, he says, look, at that time, at that very moment, that day will come, those who oppress you, those who hurt you, those who made you feel pain, he says, I would make sure I punish them all. He said, I will save those who cannot walk well, dear child of God. The Lord will draw you out. He will draw you out of that danger. God will draw you out of that danger, that trap that they have set for you. 
they have laid snare before you, dear child of God, to see that you are caught, to see that you are destroyed. They are the workers of iniquity. They are the men of the night. They want to see that you are hot. They want to see that you are pained. But I want to assure you by the word of God, none of them will succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. God is saying to you, watch. Watch how I will deal with every one of them who had oppressed you. He says, that time will come, I will rescue you. I would make sure that everything turns around for the best. I will give you something that will cause you to rise above them all. He's saying to you, I'll make your feet as hinds feet. You would walk tall in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, they wanted you oppressed. They wanted you suppressed, but they have failed. Because God will make sure your blessings, your blessings will come without a doubt. It doesn't matter how many times they have been fighting you. It doesn't matter how many times they wanted you destroyed. Dear child of God, they will not succeed. Rather, the word of God says, He will make you a praise. He says, I will make your name great in the earth. Dear child of God, He says, among all people, in the face of your enemies. You see, the promotion you see comes from God. It doesn't come from man. And God is saying to you, I will make it happen. Dear child of God, God will make it happen. All you need right now is to stay with Him. All you need right now is to follow hard after Him. All you need right now is to commit yourself to God. All you need right now is to be intentional with God. And I want to assure you everything you need to become significant, everything you need to become a voice, everything you need to stand out, everything you need to succeed, God will make them available unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said in Amos 9 verse 14, And I will let the fate of my people Israel be changed. He says, And they will be building up again the waste towns and living in them. He says, They would again be planting vine gardens and taking the wine for their drink. And they will make gardens and get the fruit of them. The child of God, you will eat the fruit of your labors. God will make sure it will set to you. God will make sure he will cause your life to spring forth in praises in the mighty name of Jesus. Every day of your life, you would have reasons to rejoice. You will say, despite all that have happened to me, despite all that I have faced, despite all of the challenges, despite the afflictions, despite the setbacks, despite the rejections, despite the hatred, despite the threats to life, Dear child of God, you say, despite all of the attempts against your life, God made sure that he made you significant. God made sure he made you great. God made sure he placed you in a place that none of them could be able to succeed against your life anymore. Dear child of God, please don't be afraid of them. Because the one who is with you is greater than them all. God is with you. And he wants you to know that if he is for you, if he's standing by your side, no weapon fashioned against you would ever prosper. All that they do will fail. They will not succeed against your life. Dear child of God, please believe the word of God. They won't succeed against your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is settled because you have a glorious heritage and you would achieve the things that God would want you to achieve in the mighty name of Jesus. The road may have been rough, dear child of God. The road may have been narrow. There may have been challenges on your path. But I want to assure you, you would end well. Dear child of God, I want to assure you, you would end well. Despite the challenges, despite the hard times, despite the pains and setback, despite all the difficulties, receive the word of God today. For you would end well in Jesus' mighty name. And God will make your joy full. In the mighty name of Jesus, just do well not to give up. And I want to assure you, that testimony you will testify of. That testimony you will testify of. Dear child of God, that testimony you will testify of. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.